Hi, and welcome to Optimizing RPG. Today we're going to be looking at the fourth score point of Trial Tower, which is called Wizard Defeated. Now the good news is we don't have to go all the way back to the start this time. In fact, if we restore to just after we collected both of the equipment, on floor three that's good enough um, part of the reason for this by the way is because we had to basically um, this here doing this in the way that we wanted to we had to basically kill everything on the floor before there's not really much left else to do that could be done differently um, so yeah it all ends up working out to be the same um, the only real decision that we might want to do differently is the um, defense gem behind the yellow door on the second floor but it's going to turn out again that we still don't get hit enough times to actually um, make any difference there so it's still not worth it to pick up there are a bunch of enemies on the next floor that ignore your defense so that contributes to it not being worth it um, we are ooh, our immediate goal at the moment is to get to the next floor that means killing the boss which means blue key um, so we're going to collect this blue key there is another blue key here which is this one uh, but we have to cross a bunch of hot tiles whereas this just involves killing this pretty cheap enemy um, in terms of stats that might make a difference um, collecting more attack is going to make very little difference so there is this but we actually it ends up costing us more to walk through these guys than it does actually save us. Um, they will deal like 30 damage walking through here, so we don't want to do that. Um, and this defense gem over here will cost us at least 30 greckles to attain it, which we just don't have and we can't get. So we are just going to go ahead and stab this guy now. This is all the same as before. And here we go, here's our blue key. Um, we've picked up the invisibility potion, we just want to move it because we will end up locking this door later when we open this pressure plate. So, um, yeah. Uh, while we're here, we are going to collect this defense gem. Now, we didn't talk about this defense gem. Um, last time, if we didn't collect the defense gem behind the yellow door on floor two, why are we picking up the one on floor three? Well, this one at the higher multiplier, um, three defense is equivalent to nine score, and the key that we spend was ten, so there's only one score to make up instead of four. Uh, in addition to that, the fact that it gives us more defense means that it only takes us 14 hits, that's one four, to um, actually pay off that extra score and start running a profit, whereas the one on level two requires 80, that's eight zero hits, in order to pay off, and we don't actually get hit enough times, but we are going to get hit at least 14 or more times, so this one was worthwhile. Even in the previous score point, we did get hit 14 times running through these gauntlets. Uh, even though we blew up the boss at the end with the bomb, so uh, it still paid off. Now why are we coming back to floor two? Well if you remember the end of the previous episode we did take a quick look at level four and there was a lot of Greco gates. We are required to open them to progress, it's non-optional, and to actually get enough money to do that uh, we do want the lucky Greco now. Um, we we would have really have liked it earlier, um, but it was just not really possible to pick it up earlier in a way that made sense. So um, now that we have the blue key, we can collect it. We do have to cross these hot tiles if we want to get our blue key back um, and kill the wizard, the warlock, but there's no way we could have made this HP different. Um, why do we want to collect this blue key instead of the one on the previous level? Well, that's because the one on the previous level, um, in order to collect it, we're going to get hit by this guy. Um, it actually, he's double-brained, like it does actually end up 
um, we are required to take the sword hit, it actually ends up being worse doing it this way and collecting this one than it is by killing the warlock and the reason for that is because we can later on reduce these guys all down to zero damage before we cross this um, in terms of the warlock we can't he is always going to deal this 100 damage so in the end um, the way that it works out is that actually because this guy's not going to get any cheaper um, the difference in the hot tile damage even if we come back later with less health um, it, it just it doesn't work out we actually lose points using it the other way um, I, I guess in order to try and explain this better um, when you are going to be taking damage at the other end of hot tiles your health needs to be a certain amount so that you can take the damage from the hot tiles kill the monster and then get back through the hot tiles um, so you actually have to stock up more health than the monster costs and you end up losing a bunch um, in terms of the hot tiles on the next floor um, because we can reduce the monsters down to zero we can take about one damage from each of those hot tiles if we get our health low enough um, whereas this one we would always still need to come back and actually stock up on a bit of health it takes at least 124 ish uh, but it actually ends up being quite difficult to get the right amount of health that we need um, and it, it, you, I've, I've just simply played them both through and you actually end up about 52 HP worse by going for the other blue key so that's why we're not doing it uh, we were required to pick a potion to pick this up on the way but that's fine uh, so as you can see here the lucky greckle doubles the money we can get from the monsters we could get a hundred greckles right now by dealing nine damage but we actually don't need to do this to get to 320 greckles but on the next floor there is going to be a hot tile that we can skip if we have an extra 80 greckles and that hot tile will do more than nine damage so it is actually worth taking nine damage here to skip that hot tile we end up a very little amount better but a few hp is still optimal so we now have the blue key to pick up the boss um, there is only one attack gem left to pick up, it's worth three, it's not going to make any difference here so we won't bother, it's still not free to collect it yet. So here we go, we have no choice than to go this way, and as you can see, this hot tar taking 10 it actually would have taken 11 health had we not killed the vampire which is more than the nine so that's why we don't do it we just walk through here instead uh, we now have exactly 320 greckles that's great that's the amount that we need so let's run through uh, these pressure plates here um, they actually lock a yellow door behind them so we want to do everything over here the first time through that is why when I said that these gates were required it was basically to save um, this is our main goal to carry on through the level um, it will save us um, two yellow doors which is huge um, if we do it all now so that's why we're going to do it now um, while we are over here we are opening all of these gates because this is our opportunity to collect all of this stuff you know we won't really be coming back here later um, and to get the hook the next weapon we do have to um, oh I'll just walk into the room um, we want to get this as soon as possible so we really need to do it now uh, this is interesting we need to get past this ninja we could kill him he's gonna hit us six times so what you might think is to say okay we'll just take the damage right if we're coming in here once we can get hit standing on this square get hit again bumping this grackle gate and then get hit on the way back out and three hits is less than six so why haven't we gone to find any help uh, money to pass through these well what's really weird about this enemy is that in addition to having a sword 
He also has the Strikes When You Step In Front ability. Now, this is normally found on Evil Eye monsters, and what it means is that instead of hitting us once when we step on his sword, he actually hits us twice. So we don't get hit three times, we get hit six times, and that means that it's really no different at all in order to just go ahead and kill him now. Um, we could take two of those hits with a defense gem on the way back, but it's actually going to cost us more health to pick up the money instead, so we are just going to go ahead and kill him now. Uh, as we are at exactly 110 defense, um, these witches now deal exactly zero damage because they have 110 attack, so we can just kill them all for free, which saves here. Um, this unlocks the hook. We have to hit this in order to reach it. Uh, that means picking up this health, but that's fine. We might as well grab this defense while we are here. Uh, I haven't really talked about this monster yet. The Onyx statues, look at this massive damage. So these guys have no enemy defense. They do hardly any damage per attack. But, you know, we are just barely making it past their high defense. And they have enormous HP. So that's why they deal so much damage. Uh, as soon as we get this hook, it drops by like 1,300 damage or something like that, which is huge. So that's why we need to get the hook now while we're here. We are going to have to fight some of these guys later, um, and clearly we want them to be doing very little damage. And so yeah, that was everything we needed. Uh, we have actually unlocked a way back now. Um, but yeah, um, the reason why we couldn't have done this before, even though we've locked a way back, is because the only way to the hook was actually to press this pressure plate, uh, which meant going up this way, which meant opening all these doors. Uh, we picked up the green key while we were here because money isn't really an object anymore. Now, in order to continue with the level, what's our next goal? Well, we would really like this next shield. In order to obtain this, we have to get into this room, which requires hitting one of these pressure plates, which means going up here and basically doing a bunch of stuff. Um, before we do that, there is an Onyx statue who can be reduced a little bit with a bit more attack, and we have left some attack in the previous level. So now that we have a load more attack and defense, let's go grab it now. Now this attack and defense that we have, or this attack that we have over here, um, sadly does require standing on Auramites, and we are going to take damage, but it's less than 10, and we do have the wooden shield available to us, so we can instead go and grab the wooden shield and take no damage at all from these guys. So that's what we're going to do now. There we are. So here we are, we get this for free. And because they can't hurt us, we might as well kill them now as well for a bit more money. And we mustn't forget to grab our shield back again. That's the last time we'll ever need any of the wooden equipment in this entire hold. Well, except maybe when we're optimizing the next score point, but there's no more aura mites here at least. So we've defined our goal as crossing through here. We have no choice other than to take damage here, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, now to progress further, well, we have a choice. We could go this way, cross a hot tile, hit this pressure plate, and then we have a way into this room. Um, but what we are gonna do instead is we are gonna go around this full loop, pick up some defense, and go through here, and then ultimately, um, come down here, press this pressure plate which opens the way 
to the boss. Um, why are we going to do that instead of taking the shortest possible route by going over here? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, um, this hot tile, we can cross it when we've got less health. Um, number two, um, the monsters that are in here doesn't isn't impacted by defense so we're not actually going to make any saving by grabbing the shield first um, and number three we do want to open the way to the boss anyway and part of the reason for that is at this point we really have to discuss percentage damage so ideally what we want to do because this hold forces us to pick up health when really we want to be running as little health as possible what we should do is everything that we can up until that, that doesn't involve crossing hot tiles or getting beam hits there is a beam hit down here um, until our health is as low as it can be uh, now on the way while you know doing this um, we are going to fight a monster we are going to reduce our health um, but we also want to open access to all of the percentage damages before we start going and doing all of our percentage damage stuff um, because when our health is low we want to tackle everything all at once while our health is still low um, there is a beam down here which means if we want to get these keys it is going to cost us 50% of our health now that's quite huge so to optimize this properly we actually want to have access to this before we do anything and that's why rather than cross this hot tile we would like to open the way first by coming down here and opening this door and killing these guys so that's why we're going to go this way it is actually worse to do it the other way again i have tried it and it ends up not working out for that reason um here's a seemingly ridiculous choice um what are we going to do we're going to collect 200 health or are we going to take 142 damage by the ninja to pass through here um, well it may surprise you to find that we're actually going to take the damage um, which probably sounds completely ridiculous like why are we doing this why would you rather not collect the health than and take the damage instead well unbelievably it works out that because there are so many hot tiles and percentage damage dealers left um, we're going to still be crossing somewhere around about 18 hot tiles um, that would reduce your health to 40% roughly of what it is um, and then we also want to get hit by this beam if we take this health we are not getting our health low enough by doing everything that we need to involve fighting monsters um, until we reach the point where we need to start doing the percentage damage and what that means is that we end up taking quite a lot of damage um, with the hot tiles reducing it to 40 and then halving what's left from the beam attack uh, we end up with about 20 percent of the health that we're left with and so we pick up this health potion we actually end up reducing its effectiveness to 20 percent of what it was uh, that means that it's actually cheaper to take the damage and then come back and pick up the health potion that's still lying around after we've dealt with all the percentage we actually end up with a profit on that and that is solely because we wouldn't otherwise be able to get our health low enough um, we wouldn't be able to get it into the single figures but basically or less than 20 for the hot tiles if we picked this up but by taking the damage we will and that's why we do that um, it's a it's a combination basically of this hold forcing you to pick up health when you would rather not do so and then having an absolute bucket load of percentage damage dealing with hot tiles um, of course as we're going further into this hold we are just unlocking more and more areas where hot tiles are going to be used and really you want to tackle them all at once so you end up hitting quite a lot of them uh, this is score profitable to um, basically trade two yellow keys for a yellow key and four defense and we also get to kill this brain that uh, makes this guy half the cost so that's nice uh, we, we have just enough health to do that so we're now on very low health uh, we do want to press one of these while we're here so we're going to press that now we have access to the shield room uh, 
very weird pressure plate set up here. You can always hit this and reopen this door so, you know, the, the, the trapdoors will toggle the door closed, but you just come back and press the pressure plate again, so a bit strange why it's set up that way. I will just explain to get down here we do actually have to drop these trap doors. Um, that does mean that up here is essentially limited in how many times we can do it. We actually have to do this now um, which means that we can't come back and pick up these later. That does mean that we are forced to pick up this health now which is really sad because actually we would like this low health but it can't be done. Um, to quickly explain this pressure plate setup, um, if we were required to hit these to come over here, which we want to do, um, as we do so, this will let, give us a choice of either this or this. This is more score, so we would rather take this choice, but we can open a yellow door to take this one as well, and by doing that, um, spend a yellow to gain a yellow and 400 health. That's clearly a big profit, so we want to do that. Um, taking this does lock this yellow door, but you can lock the Greco gate in front of it to collect the key anyway, so it ends up earning us extra score by opening that door, coming in here, and then coming back round and getting this cash over here. Uh, so this is another case where it basically forces us to make this decision right now and that means we end up picking up health that really we would rather not. Uh, this hold does that quite a lot. Uh, now we would like the night shield, uh, we'd rather not take the damage, this 50%, so we are going to come around this way, it is cheaper, uh, we lose quite a lot, we'd have to cross this twice. Uh, or at least once if we didn't and it did it does work out to be a little bit more expensive so uh, also it in because it locks our platform over here and we really don't want to be going this way that's why we end up being hit more than once we can't just walk back this way uh, we do want to reclaim the platform at some point and it's just it's just awful to take that so we will go this way Um, in order to get out of here, we have to press this plate. Um, if we kill this guy before collecting this, uh, we can't get it, and we would rather kill this guy than open the yellow door because uh, he deals very little damage now. Um, of course, we would rather have killed the statues and opened this green door than open like two green doors, so it's all fairly straightforward here. And there we go. Um, we will come back and explain all of this later, by the way. Um, there's a lot to talk about here, so we are going to come back deal with that another time. Now, we still want to open up the way to this beam attack. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough health to take on these guys. Uh, we would have if we had taken this, um, but then we still would have been left with a bit of health left over. Um, because we've now left this 200 health potion here, we can actually pick up a little bit of health and still end up running a profit and having basically more health left over at the end. We can pick up this 90 HP, which is what we need to get these ninjas out of the way. Uh, if you're wondering why we've not picked up these stats later, um, I will explain this as well in a little bit later. Whoops, that's the wrong end. And there we are, that's reduced us to a very low HP level now, um, which means we can start doing the hot tiles. We have opened the way to all of the ones that we need, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but first of all, Uh, really weird this here, it makes you think that you have to step through these guys to get these keys, you actually don't, you can run round them, um, very odd, I'm not sure why it was set up that way, uh, here's a hot tile, uh, we've chosen this one first, 
Uh, now this was important here, I haven't mentioned, we actually need access to open both of these. I will talk about this room now. When we kill this brain, we lock access to the top path. We want to reclaim this platform and still use it later, so we're going to have to move it down here, but the only time to move it down here means opening both of these, which means taking both of these paths at some point. So now that we've done that, we can think about tackling this area. Uh, we do have to get hit there as well. Oh, there we go. Um, while we're tackling this, we would like to kill this guy. We are going to need a little bit more health before we do that. So, because um, we don't want to... Yeah, we want to kill this. Kill this guy. And then essentially walk all the way back round. Um, so we, we're not going to do this and take this yet. We're going to carry on taking on hot tiles. Um, we're not going to get any lower health for this. Um, rather oddly, I would have thought this would have dealt two damage to harbour health. It actually deals one, so that's the bare minimum that we take. We're doing this now because clearly this is the most dangerous percentage damage, so we want to take it when the opportunity presents itself. Um, and we just didn't have enough health to say do this trade first. That's why we ended up taking um, doing this hot tile business first. Uh, we do need to restock our health, sadly, before we take on any more hot tiles, as we'd like to pick up as little health as possible. So we're just going to grab this 30 health. Um, it unfortunately puts us over the magic number of 20, which minimises the damage you take from hot tiles. But, um, you know, sadly, what can you do? We'll grab that while we're here. And now, these guys don't deal any damage anymore. Or at least this guy here, so we can now do all of this. Uh, doing all that finally unbrains this guy, we can kill him for money. Uh, we will come back a bit later for that. Um, any remaining hot tiles now do exactly one damage, so that's what we're going to tackle next. And the final hot tiles that we need to cross are up here. lock that door so we don't have to open the yellow. It's in the yellow. Uh, we might as well do this while we're standing in this room. And that is almost to the end of our hot tile business. But this final hot tile that we need to do, we do end up being forced to pick up health while we do it and that's why we actually want to do this one last. Uh, is on the way through here. We do collect this health. It's just too expensive to pick it up later, even though we've got an absolute ton of money. And with that, we have now done all of our hot tile business. So. Uh, we can avoid this hot tile from now on uh, because we can always go the long way round, just open these grackle gates every time, but it's not a big deal. And we can come round the long way and come back round the level to escape. So um, we do need enough health to uh, kill this guy. Uh, this health right here. So just before we do anything, um, we want to actually move this platform down here. The reason for that is that when we kill this brain, it's going to lock this path with the blue door. We'd really rather not. So that's why we're doing that. There we are. We, we can't reduce the warlock anymore. He ignores our defense. Uh, well, I can here collect that. Like these while we're here. Uh, 
Uh, there's going to be a lot of he things here we do where we're just starting to pick up the stuff that we've left behind. Here we are, we never have to come up here again, so that extra money didn't really make much difference. Uh, we will pick this up now. Yeah, we finally collected those. Uh, and it will now be time to really explain this room. So, what's going on up here? Well, we've got, um, first of all, this protector monster. He has a whopping 1,000 defense. There is no way we are getting enough attack in this halt to kill this guy. So there's only one thing we can do to kill this monster, and that is to use the hand bomb. Even if we um, use the invisibility potion to double our attack, we're not hitting 500 attack. So if we want to kill him, we have to use the hand bomb. Why would we kill him? Because we have to do that to collect this portable orb. The portable orb um, is used to access the bonus boss, so you can't blow up the bonus boss with the bomb because you've had to exchange it for this portable orb. Um, in order to get out of this area though, however, what it's expecting you to do is to also kill this spider. This spider deals an awful lot of damage. Uh, no defense, a thousand attack per hit. Um, we are going to need a better weapon to make this anyway worthwhile. You know, there's not enough stuff here to really make up for 3000 damage. In addition to that, you've got another beam guy who's going to hit you six times walking through here. So you really need the really big sword from the next level to actually go up here and do all of this. So of course all of this is meant to be for the next score point and we can pretty much ignore it, right? Well, <laughs> no, we can actually gather all of this stuff. Um, we don't need to kill the spider if we use the portable orb on this door that the spider would open. And by using the invisibility potion, we can also walk through all of these enemies. And because there is this free accessory slot in the room, we can actually have the invisibility potion and the hand bomb at the same time. So we can actually get all of this stuff by using both of those accessories. It means we don't blow up the final boss or or use the invisibility potion for the final boss. But you know what? It actually ends up not mattering um, because we gain so much health by going through this next bit. We would clearly rather do it instead you know we gain so much it makes up for actually killing the boss ourselves so that's what we're gonna do uh, while I'm here just quickly I will take this green key uh, when we take that green key to get back through we have to spend a yellow and a load of Greco gate but that's still a score improvement so we're just gonna do it So now, if we use the invisibility potion, uh, we do have to open this door, but that's fine. It's still worthwhile to do all of this. Um, because we've used the invisibility potion, he's not looking at us, so we avoid all of the beam hits. Uh, we get this attack, we walk through this monster, and then we can blow up the protector. A uh, fun bug, if you're standing on a monster and blow him up, it will make you shake as if you've been hit. But it's actually not you being hit, it's the monster. Um, while we're here, because we're invisible and because this guy is free, uh, we can just kill him for money. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I just like to stab him. And there we go, look at that. We got well over 2,000 hit points with that. By doing that, that was, that was a huge payoff. Uh, at this point we've now basically done everything we need to. Um, we couldn't collect these. Killing the boss opens the way to this unless we did a load of door walking and it's just far too expensive. Uh, obviously we will get these on the next score point but for this score point this just isn't viable sadly. Uh, all that remains at this point now is to just pick up all of the stuff that matters. We've got the maximum statistics that we will have. Um, we are just gathering everything that's left over. Uh, yes, good. I did collect that green key. I sometimes forget. 
Um, the portable orb, I guess, well, we couldn't have used it on this because we couldn't have gone out because we didn't kill the spider. So there's just no way that we're really gaining that blue key, sadly. Of course, you could also have used the portable orb possibly to um, open a door, a blue door, but no, that wasn't happening. It would have been equivalent to picking up a blue key. There we go, we got loads of spare money. We're just going to open all this stuff. Uh, money's never going to be a problem again, especially not on the final floor. Money doesn't really matter. Lastly, because we have a spare blue door, we can trade it for even more health here. And with that, we have collected everything we care about. So, um, in fact, we've, yeah, we've collected everything that is basically a positive score for us. So at this point it is time for only one thing left and that is to kill the boss. Um, we have a choice, we can either open the blue door or take 3800 damage. Uh, the blue door is worth 1200 so clearly we're going to do that instead. And there we go. A final score of 1819 with 6545 HP, where um, we're still like 15 HP off the next score point, um, so we're not we're not super that close. Where we're about in the middle of them. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on here to achieve this score. Most bizarrely is this one here, but that is just the way that hot tiles work. Um, and it's the way that it's the weird combination of being forced to pick up a lot of health, not getting the opportunity to reduce it otherwise. Um, and you know, the way that you leave health behind in order to pick it up after you've done the massive hot tile gauntlet. Um, so I think this is a pretty interesting score point there, there's, there's quite a lot going on, you're not really fighting many monsters here. Um, we'll just very quickly take a look as usual at what we've got next. Um, a bunch of forced fights um, to pick up some goodies, and then we have the really big sword and the Auramite shield really close together, uh, followed just by a load of gauntlet stuff here, but we're not going to look too much into it for now. And there's our final boss of the hold. Um, anyway, we'll take a look at this closer next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.